What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Got a review for you, let's jump into it. All right guys, we have the Concept Shikari here today to take a look at and I'm super excited about this one. So let's jump into it. Uh, this is a budget version with a 154 cm blade steel stone washed we have aluminum bolsters with why did i say aluminum 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 bolsters how you like that with my carta on lace and a titanium pocket clip not reversible though button lock action on this one is nice very uh, tight tolerances here, no up and down, no side to side play. I do wish they would have put a little bit more jimping here. I have slipped. I didn't even mean to do that. I've slipped off there more than I care to say. You kind of need to push button it for it to really kind of work. Um, I think that for me is a little bit more consistent, but unfortunately the push button is very pokey. So what I've kind of done is like a light switch to push button and that does pretty consistent for me. I am able to get four fingers on here, but it is a little tight. You can see I'm starting to hang off the back a little bit there. And I wish they would have carried the jimping all the way up through the uh, top of the spoon. I guess you would call that the spoon, the cutout, the ramp. Yeah, let's call it a ramp. That would have been a little bit better for me in my particular grip, but very comfortable, slight contouring, very thin geometry behind the blade's edge there, and a nice thin blade stock with an acute tip. How did this one perform while cutting? Very good. Now, it has come to me via the pass around, so keep that in mind. Don't hold that against it on the opening cut through the paper, but it did cut through the cardboard very nicely, very slicey ripping through the cardboard very well and uh, surprisingly easy to use for the pinch grip. Is it the best pinch grip out there? Of course not, but I was expecting it to be worse with that tip down, um, sorry, tip down, with the high tip on the clip point, drop point blade, and it really wasn't that bad. I was able to kind of get it at a little bit of an angle because it is fairly acute and able to cut through that cardboard. And then just a little bit of stropping and honing on the 154 cm brought it back to form and it felt very slicey after that. Pocket clip was very comfortable because it is milled, lays flat, and it doesn't dig into the hand. And again, it was comfortable while holding the knife. I did notice a little bit of sharpness around here on that finger choil cutout, but nothing that would concern me for long periods of use. It was pretty comfortable. The button itself, nice big button on here, so you're able to easily actuate and um, manipulate the blade closing, and you can even hit it and do the old Elementum button lock style deployment if you like that. But very good action. You got the typical stamped bearings on race washers here, which allow you to make sure you get that pivot tight nice and secure and still get fairly smooth action now this one here I, I don't know if it needs to be broken in more i don't know if it is just because with my larger fingers i'm not getting that button in very good but it is a little hesitant on the initial drop i kind of got to give it some momentum so i don't know maybe the pivot's a little too tight um, or it could be that i'm just again not getting that button pushed in all the way uh, let's see. It's not one of those ones where you need to do a partial, is it? No. And let me see. It's it's not rocking. I don't think. I think it's captive. All right. So I did get a little bit of movement. Perhaps somewhere along the line it got tightened. No, it doesn't make a difference. It didn't loosen up. Um, well, yeah, it is starting to drop a little bit faster now. Okay. No, it still needs a little bit of encouragement. Once you get the encouragement going, though, I really just think, I just think I can't get that button in far enough. I almost think the button needs to be just a touch, a touch taller, maybe. Maybe that's what the issue is. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh. oh, starting to drop now. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it's just not broken in enough. But I don't think I was first in line or is it no 
I think the button just needs to be a little bit taller. Okay, moving on. You do have relief cuts on the liners here to help with the weight reduction here. So that is a good thing. Um, it does feel a little heavy with the full steel liners and it is a little butt heavy, but not too bad. I am in the rear most part of that forge oil to get that balance point, but I also think that is also due to the thin blade stock here and again the full steel liners due to the button lock looks like they put a g10 backspacer in here would have loved it if they would have matched up the green micarta for that backspacer but um you know not awful at this price point if i'm being honest let's do some size comparisons with this one as you can see with the lightweights on the table, this is more of a fuller sized knife coming in closer to the Manix 2 lightweight than it is with the Para 3 lightweight. Let's do a couple more. Okay, here it is against a couple of budget knives. I have the mini grouper on the bottom, which I think it is very comparable to. And then I have the X1 from Civivi on top for a small knife comparison. And as you can see, again, confirming that the Shikari is more full size. Let's do close profile and then we'll weigh out the knife. All right, so we have a couple of the full size knives on the table here. The mini grouper coming in a little bit more shallow, but the Shikari is more narrow. And then it is a little bit shorter and more narrow than the man it's too lightweight now these are slightly contoured scales i don't know if you'll be able to tell that but i am curious to see yep very comparable to the manix 2 lightweight full are these nested these are nested always get this confused nested steel liners um i would say also very comparable to the mini grouper let's grab the scale and check the weight on this all right scale is out and on let's see what the weight is on the shikari so coming in at four ounces yeah and that's about what i was thinking it does feel like it has a little bit more weight to it in the pocket but it's still going to be less than say like your spider coast shaman let's finish and wrap this up and give her a score all right, so for the most part, I've very much enjoyed this design. I honestly think I'd like it a little bit more if it was just a simple nested liner lock as opposed to a button lock because I don't think the button is tall enough that or they could just make the button taller. Um, the detent feels fairly strong. If I'm not trying to fail it, it is a little bit on the lighter side, but if you just rip it, I think it's okay. You know, it's nothing exciting to write home about. The 154 CM on here seems treated fairly well. I would say if I were comparing it to what I'm seeing from like Kaiser, I think Kaiser's heat treats a little bit better, but this also is a coated blade. So that could have a little bit of a factor. I just felt like that edge didn't hold up as well um, when you looked at it after you did a little bit of cutting. And of course it is in the pass around. So that could be a factor. So I do want to disclose that. What goes into the score for me on these? Basically, I look at performance, I look at the ergos, materials involved, and just my overall satisfaction with the knife. Um, it is a little tight for four fingers, but it is four fingers nonetheless. It is one means of deployment with the flipper, and it doesn't have any jimping. I wish it would. I've had some aggressive jimping on there to ensure that I'm able to consistently deploy it. The fit and finish on it is very nice. The aluminum feels very well coated. It feels durable to the touch. And then the micarta is smooth, which is not an issue because you do have good scalloping here to make sure that you got a nice locked in grip. Good bl blade geometry. It, you know, it honed and stropped well. So I'm going to say that I think from the factory, this edge would probably be really good. And if you stayed on maintaining it, it would hold up well. Um, weight. A little heavy for EDC, but it is not awful. And I do wish that the button was just a little bit more proud to actuate. I think it would be even smoother. Um, and it is locked up solid. That is for sure. So where am I sitting on this one? It is in the budget territory because it is under 100 bucks, which is budget territory for my channel. There are some minor nitpicks with this one. So I think I'm going to go 6-2. Solid score, not top of the line, but not 
quite in the average realm. Um, I would put this a little bit higher than the average. I think aesthetically it's very pleasing. I do like Concepts Black Wash and they do very good work with their fit and finish and I love that they included a mill titanium pocket clip that works really well on here versus going with just a plain Jane steel pocket clip. That always is a nice bonus. I think with just a few tweaks, this could move up to the mid sixes. The uh, button and the jimping on there would really go a long way or just make it a nested liner lock version. I think that would really go a long ways because Concept actually does do a good detent on their detent ball knives. Let me know what you think about the Shikari down in the comments below. Do you agree with my score or do you think it is a little too high or too low? And why is that? If you're not interested in this one at all, I totally understand. Just give me a shout out, say hello, or let me know what you're carrying in the comments below. I do love hearing from you guys on these videos. And if you're interested in this or any other concept model or their budget line tenable, uh, those are linked down below. And when you use those links, it does help the channel. Uh, on your way out, if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you follow along on the channel. And a special thank you to my channel members out there. I love you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace. <music>